All right, in question three, we're going to be solving equations. And the first equation that we have is a log equation. Again, you want to be thinking of your three log properties. Our goal is to get a single log on the left or the right, or a single log statement on the left and the right. So in this problem, what our goal would be is to get a single log statement on the left, because we already have a log statement on the right. So what I want to do is I want to use this quotient rule to get us into one log base. So we have one log statement, it's going to be log of base 3, and the log of a difference of the quotient of the log, so it's 56 over n equals log base 3 of 7. And we know that if the log bases are the same, then the exponent that we use to get 3, to get the anti logs have to be the same, so we eliminate our log base 3s and we equate our arguments, or the anti logs. So 56 over n equals 7, we want to solve this for n, so the first thing I would do is multiply by n to get it out of the denominator, then I would take and divide 56 by 7 to find n. It looks like our final answer should be 8. Make sure you check that and can you put it back in your argument without causing it to be the log of a negative. And we could take the log base 3 of 8 without any problems. So here's our solution should be 8.